homemade yogurt, what you're going to need to start with is a crock pot and um, a gallon of milk. I use an entire gallon all at one time because we have five people in my family and you'll see when you get done with this that um, you don't actually come out with a gallon of yogurt because you're going to strain a lot off um, as whey and we will go through that um, toward the end of the process and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So all I'm going to do to start is I'm going to take a gallon of whole milk. I use whole milk because I like whole milk yogurt. Um, you can use whatever percentage of milk you would like. So you're just going to take your gallon of milk and pour it in right into your crock pot. My crock pot is old. I got this when I got married eight years ago from my grandmother so it is stained and well loved. I don't, this crock pot bowl is just a smidge more than a gallon. So um, put your lid on and then you are going to set it to low and set a timer for two and a half hours. All right, so my timer has just gone off. Two and a half hours has passed with the crock pot on low. So at this point, what you're going to do is you're going to turn it off and you're going to leave the lid on and set a timer for three hours and it's going to cool just a bit during that time. You do not want to put your yogurt starter directly into this mixture as hot as it is because that will kill um, your starter. So you want to let this cool for three hours and then we will be back. Okay, now that this milk has been cooling for three hours <clears throat> with the crock pot turned off, our next step is to add in your yogurt starter and the way that you do that is by just using a cup of plain yogurt. You can either get um, plain unflavored unsweetened yogurt in a container at the grocery store or what I'm going to do is this is um, yogurt for, that I made last week and I'm just going to use a cup of it. Um, now I haven't put anything in this there's no flavoring no sweetener nothing you want plain yogurt. So I have um, a cup of that that I'm going to attempt to put into this crock pot with one hand. And then you're just going to stir that in there. Now that yogurt that you just put in there is going to have all of the enzymes and everything um, that you need to turn this crock pot full of milk into yogurt. So now that you've done that, you've mixed in one cup of yogurt, whether homemade or store-bought. Now that you've mixed that in there thoroughly, put your lid back on it. Make sure your crock pot is unplugged. Right, so what you want to do now is wrap your crock pot in a towel. <clears throat> this sort of insulates it. And you're going to let that sit there for nine hours. And after nine hours is done, you're going to have a crock pot full of yogurt. I will check back with you okay, then. Okay, our yogurt is all finished now. Technically, you can leave this to sit um, after you put the culture in for nine hours. What I did, because nine hours was going to end up right around midnight, and I did not want to get back up out of bed to deal with this so I let this sit overnight so right now it is about 9 a.m. and if we take the lid off of the crock pot you can see a little bit of the texture and consistency but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a whisk and you can see see how thick it is there the last time I made yogurt I let it sit for about nine or ten hours and it was nowhere near this thick we're going to go ahead and strain it anyway, but um, at this point you should have a very um, sweet smelling yogurt smell. And this is actually, this is a much better consistency than what I had last time. Now, you could leave, you could leave your yogurt like this and there will be nothing wrong with that. It would be like the regular yogurt that you buy in the grocery store. Or you can strain it with a cheesecloth and get more of a Greek style yogurt. Um, and what's going to happen there is that the whey is going to separate through. This is a jar of whey that I strained off of the last batch of yogurt I did. I ended up getting two full quart-sized jars 
of way off of that one. I, it was um, quite a bit more runny um, the last time and the texture this time is beautiful. It is smooth and creamy. The last time it was quite a bit um, grainy so I think letting it culture for a while longer has resulted in a better um, a better texture and consistency. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a ladle and I'm going to ladle this mixture because I do like Greek yogurt and when you when you um, when you strain it um, the resulting yogurt doesn't have quite as much sugar in it um, just the natural sugars that are in milk because that strains out of the way